Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how to modify Laragon setup on your Windows machine to create a Laravel 11 application because it requires a minimum PHP version of 8.2. Let's dive in. This is the Laragon application for local development. So you could see that it is PHP 8.1. It is showing you when I do start all, and then you could see 2.4, 8.0. When I open the terminal and I say PHP that's, that's version, it shows that it is currently on version 8.1. And then when I try to create a new Laravel app, Laravel new, Laravel you could see it says cannot use Laravel's latest version 11.3 as it requires PHP 8.2, which is not satisfied by your platform. So and then it goes ahead to install Laravel 10. So I'm going to stop that so that I can show you the tools to download and that you can actually um, create a Laravel 11 application. In order to be able to create a Laravel 11 application on your Windows machine using the Laragon local development software, you will have to download the PHP release for version 8.3. And then this is the website windows.php.net and then the Apache the HTTPD 2.4. 0.58 because the current installation of Laragon uses 2.4.54 for PHP 8.1 and then download the zip file for MySQL 8.3.0. So I'll head over to the windows.php.net. I'm going to leave the link to all these websites on the description. Then so you could just go to the particular um, bit for your system. And then so this is the one I need here 8.3.4 Win32 VS16 bit 64 so I'll just click download so and then it begins to download then i'll head over to the httpd and then i'll click download here also so it begins then download for httpd 2.4.58 then i head over to my SQL to also download the zip file here click download and then just go to just click on no thanks just start my download and and that's the download going on next head over to the downloads folder where you have the httpd and the mysql 8.3.0 and then php 8.3 and then just um, unzip the file once you are done unzipping the file i will start with the php open the php folder i'll just copy the folder and head over to the laragon folder and then i'll go to bin then i'll go to php and then I'll paste it here. Then I'll go back to the Laragon folder again. Then I'll copy the MySQL 8.3.0 and I'll go to bin again. And I'll head over to MySQL. I'll paste it here. You could see initially we have 8.0 and now I've added MySQL 8.3. Go head back to Laragon again. Then I'll go to HTTPD and then Apache 24. So I'll go to Bean. Then I'll go to Apache. Then this. So look at the way it is there. I'll just um, copy all of this and then go back here and then paste. So just replace the files. Ensure that there is nothing in this folder so i can delete that now then i'll go back then i'll copy i'll copy this folder then i'll paste here next head over to the laragon application and then click on menu go to php then click php 8.3.3 then go to menu Click on Apache, go to version, and then click on 2.4.58. Then go to menu, and then go to MySQL, and pick version 8.3. What Laragon does is that it actually has support for you to be able to switch the versions of PHP you want to use on MySQL. So I'll say start all. You could now see that it is now PHP 8.3.3 and HTTPD 2.4.58 and MySQL 8.3.0 compared to what I showed you when we started the tutorial. After making the modifications for the versions that Laragon will be using for creating the Laravel application, let's go ahead and say PHP 
dash dash version to confirm what version is not set up. So you could see it's not showing 8.3.3. We, we can now proceed to create the Laravel application. When you head back to the terminal, Laravel new Laravel 11, enter. You could see now it's no longer showing the error. Again, it's saying installing Laravel 11.0.3. You could see it has successfully created a Laravel 11 application. And then there is this warning message that says, could not find driver connection SQLite. So there is no SQLite setup right now. Next, I'll change directory to Laravel 11 application we created. Then I'll say PHP Artisan server. You see it's now running on the server 127.0.0.1 Let's head over to the browser to see what it looks like. When you head back to the browser to access the, the, the port on which the application is running, you could see that it is showing an error. But you can see now we have PHP 8.33 and then Laravel 11.0.8. So I'm going to change the settings to from SQLite to database because the new setup for Laravel 11 application comes with SQLite as default. Um, database. So I'll go to the environment variable and then make those modifications so that the application can work. Open up the Laravel 11 application on any code editor of your choice. I'm using VS Code here. You could see that the DB connection is reading SQLite. I'm going to change that to MySQL and then I'll remove the comments from these ones. Then I'm using ports 3307 for my um, database and then save. So the session driver I do not have any session table on my database yet, so I'm just going to change that to file and then save. Head back to the browser and then refresh. You could see we now have our Laravel 11 application set up. And so you could see it's saying here Laravel 11.0.8 and PHP version 8.3.3. And that's basically it. You can now create a Laravel application using your Laragon local development on your Windows machine. You could see how easy it was to modify the Laragon setup to be able to create a Laravel 11 application. Let me know what you think about Laravel 11 in the comment section. Don't forget to click the subscribe button because I'm going to be creating more content on Laravel. Bye.